Uranus, planet not organ, was discovered by the English astronomer William Herschel in the year 1781. Naturally, as the discoverer of the celestial body, he was given the honor of giving it its name. But instead of choosing a name that school children everywhere would enjoy, he chose... <sighs> George. Named in honor of King George III, the then king of Britain. Herschel may not have been very imaginative, but no one can deny his patriotism. You can see why this was a problem though. All of the other planets in our solar system were named after Roman deities. Mars was a god of war, Venus a goddess of love, Jupiter the god of thunder, and so on and so forth. George, while he may have been a king, was no god. Meet Johann Bode. He's an astronomer whose research helped lead to the discovery of what's known today as Uranus. But more importantly, he was one of the many that noticed the thematic inconsistency in the planet's name. So he proposed that the planet be renamed to Uranus. Why Uranus, you ask? Other than the obvious reason, I mean. Good question. Let's take a look at the solar system. As you can see, if we look at the planets in the order of their orbital lengths, we can see that after Earth, the next planet is Mars, followed by Jupiter, then Saturn, and finally George slash Uranus. In Roman mythology, Jupiter was a god of thunder. Saturn was the father of Jupiter, so it makes extra thematic sense for the next planet out to be named after Saturn's father, hence Uranus. Unfortunately, the namers of the planet Neptune, the next planet after Uranus, didn't quite get the father naming memo. But hey, at least they didn't name the planet something like Fred 